hello everyone back in the uh, old 65 Ford Thunderbird shop manual uh, since I did the uh, transmission swap and that hard top I wanted to make sure that the manual shift linkage was adjusted correctly so what better place to find out this information but the shop manual so let's pull over to pay or to the uh, section here part 7 on 22 of part 7 and in the bottom right corner it tells you how to adjust the manual linkage. Manual linkage adjustment. With the engine stopped, loosen the nut on the lower end of the manual shift rod on the transmission shift lever. With the steering column in the, up here, straight ahead, locked into place, position, move the manual selector lever so that the pointer is down against the steering column stop in the D1 position. The large green dot on the shift selector indicator is the D1 position, figure 12. So let's take a look at figure 12 and the S right there. So that should be the normal drive position for this cruise matic The very first uh, spot is, is low range. So that's that. Sounds pretty straightforward. Move the shift lever on the transmission to the D1 detent position, second from the bottom. So the bottom one would be the low range so we're second from the bottom tighten the nut on the shift rod and shift lever check the pointer alignment for all positions of the select the selector lever and reset if necessary so all right let's hit the, let's go to the car and let's get this done we saw what the manual had to say so the manual says wheel in the straightforward position and then you pull it right down to the actual normal drive position which is there and she's right in the spot she's resting nicely in there and i'll leave it right in that spot so now i'm going to put the car up on the hoist There's the nut, the linkage adjustment nut right there. Hope you can see that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spin this brace around because it's kind of in the way. I have an exhaust leak as well, so I want to fix. So I have an exhaust leak on the driver's side. So I'm going to get this brace out of the way. So let me get that done. Five eighths uh, wrench. That's good. I got the brace moved out of the way. Uh, the nut is loose. The uh, column shift is in the uh, drive position, where it's the normal drive position. And then down here is the uh, shift lever on the transmission. So you push it back one, there's one. So you bring it back to the number two spot like that. And there, tighten this back up. And our, uh, I'll tighten it back up and then the, uh, that's our manual shift linkage adjusted. Now, we have trouble with the car starting. Uh, the manual does say to go in and adjust the neutral safety switch. And that's on the column on this car, not on the transmission. But we'll worry about that once we get it done. All right, all adjusted. Let's see how she works. Flat, right in reverse. Neutral, down in the drive, right there. Perfect. Right into reverse, up into park, see if she'll start. No reason, no reason there to adjust anything now. Good. Let's drive right of the garage. That's how you adjust the manual shift linkage for uh, 65. I believe 64 is the same way. And probably 66. Even though it has a C6, it has the uh, same shift pattern.